Which one is from the dollar store? Want to take a guess? This one or this one? Mm. Hi everyone! Welcome! Thank you so much for being here. My name is Valerie, your practical decorator, helping you to make it home. I have already gathered some materials on the table here. Not much, because we'll be doing a simple project um, to make something that most of us use in our kitchen on a daily basis. So let's just go ahead and run through what we have on the table here. Um, first thing is a wooden disc. Now, yeah, I should mention that these materials are all upcycled materials, found materials. I did not really buy anything here. This disc here came from a fallen tree on our property. Now I have sanded both sides of the disc and also the edge just to take that sharpness off so it's more rounded, won't hurt anyone, right? Then I have a piece of stick here. This piece of stick came from a yard tool. Not quite sure if it was a hoe or a rake or it was something that was being used in the garden. And you can see that it's pretty old. It, this was on the top here and I just cut off a piece to the length that I want it to be. And this round end here will fit nicely for what I am trying to achieve. And then I have some drawer pulls or knobs. These are also upcycled. So what I'm gonna do right now is use some boiled linseed oil to condition the wood so in doing that what's going to happen is that the color will pop and also the grains in the wood will pop i didn't want to stain it i just want it to remain natural and so that is why i'm opting for the linseed oil so let's get started i'm just using a piece of cloth to apply the oil to the wood I have here. So I'll start with okay, so. so you can see the difference in the wood where I've put the oil already and where there is no oil. The oil is basically enhancing the color and the grain in the wood. Okay, so my container here is leaking. Just gonna go ahead and just pour this on here. Now that I have applied the oil, I am just going to leave them for a bit for the oil to get soaked into the wood. So we're back and ready to put together our creative craft. I need three pieces of dowel that are going to be just about an inch long. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut three pieces will be put in inside the 
knobs and so i will go ahead and i've already drilled this one out i'm gonna drill out the other two Being very careful. Now I am going to put a little glue down in the hole. So by now you may have guessed that we were making a paper towel holder. Just a piece of wood taken from a broken garden tool, a piece of wood that's from a fallen tree in my yard and um, three knobs, reused knobs we have made a paper towel holder now i have chosen to put the knobs under the bottom so the wood doesn't sit flat on the surface instead it's elevated on the knobs you may have noticed that i was having a bit of a problem getting my hole done with my one inch bit because this wood is so hefty so i had to use a chisel to help but no biggie there's always a way out right and so yeah it's a functional piece let me know what you think friends please leave your thoughts in the comment section below i really do hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you will try this idea also please give me some thumbs up and share i appreciate every share every comment every yeah subscription do me a favor and hit that subscription button also remember to turn on the bell notification so you can be notified of new videos sending you lots of love and appreciation thank you so much for your support on the channel can't do it without you you take care now i'll see you in the next video